is 66 consider the following statement with respect to rapid credit facility rapid credit facility is a lending instrument of imf that offers emergency assistance to member nations it can provide support in a wide variety of circumstances including shock natural disaster emergencies resulting from fragility which which would be right or wrong can you say anything first the focus of the statement first statement focuses on what uh, as usual there are some new students so i'll just brief about how to handle the questions in upc right that too in specific in prelims see uh, each statement has a focus part one focus part and there is a subsidiary axillary parts we will be usually focusing on the axillary parts and leaving the focal part which makes us to go get into a wrong answer so we'll first in a, in a, i'll take a statement and identify which is the focal part rapid credit facility is a lending instrument of imf that offers an emergency assistance to member nations most uh, the focus would be on IMF whether it offers an emergency assistance to member nations which is the focus part here I have underlined two two things right which would be a focal part which is the most important thing See, I was asked to speak only in English, right? Because North Indians are viewing it, it seems. So, uh, say which would be the focus part here? Or why can't this be? Why can't it be an emergency assistance? It can be an financial assistance in an ordinary time also. Huh? Yes. I'm linking certain things with the statements rapid which means it is it, it has to be a fast credit right fast when when I'll be going to issue something as a fast when only there is a emergency or a disaster or something which is of unforeseen act so first thing it coincides with this so this is not the focal part whereas IMF is a focal part here it would be an emergency a lending instrument of World Bank ADB anything it can be of right okay first statement i'll keep it second statement it can provide a support in a wide variety of circumstances including shocks disaster emergencies resulting from fragility this is actually an expl explanation of the first statement so this is a absolutely right so by this i'll be taking i'll be striking out this two because answer has to be between this two only right and exactly it is imf why it can't be uh, World Bank or some other thing? Because IMF has a long history of lending credits when there is an emergency. As in the case of India, 1991. Financial emergency. If, when, there, then, when there was a financial emergency, who have helped us? It's IMF. So, as a long history, I know that this is definitely it has to be an IMF, not other things. So, I, my answer is both. Then 67, with reference to Indian economy, consider the following statement, increase in the nominal near indicates appreciation of rupee. Um, this year PCM batch, leave this question, Sirya. Idu puri illa na, onnu prachana illa. Near indicates appreciation of rupees. Rear indicates the improvement in trade competitiveness. Okay, in no more rukhi. Near nullifies the impact of inflation differential between the various currencies and focuses on exchange rate of differentials alone. How to understand this question? First, I have to know what is near and read. I, I don't want to know whether, uh, I don't know explanation or definition of near or read. I, I, I forgot in the exam hall, right? Leave this. But I have to know so certain basics. 
ನೀರ್ ರೀರ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೀರ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ರೀರ್ ನಾಮಿನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ರೇಟ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ರೇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ನೀರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಿರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿರೈವಿಂಗ್ ರೀರ್ ಎಪ್ಡಿ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಿರೈವಿಂಗ್ ರೀರ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ರೀರ್ so second statement third statement i'm saying rear nullifies the impact of inflation differentials which is a wrong statement understood i don't know what is near or rear but i know only one i know one thing what from near nominal exchange rate i can calculate real exchange rate how i'm going to calculate near rear from near because just by reducing the inflation taking off the inflation from uh, real nest nominal exchange rate i can bring real exchange rate right so just by this understanding i can say this this is what this is not real this is real so third statement is wrong answer is one i don't want to know whether which is right which is wrong i don't know i don't know the definition i don't know what is the purpose of both but i know the single point i can arrive at the answer right with reference to indian economy consider the following rbi sells government securities to contain the inflations sells okay if rupee is rapidly depreciating rb is likely to buy dollars in the market if interest rate in us or european union were to fall that is likely to induce rb to buy dollars something little bit complex let me understand this with an current affairs why reading newspaper becomes important you you we all know that reading newspaper upon keep on reading newspaper I, I, it is it, it is a general view that i forget news what is the use of reading newspaper continuously have you seen that uh, now the interest rate of us is decreasing or increasing hmm increasing why because us is facing inflation they are fa- they, are, they are having high inflation which means their central bank is increasing the interest rate if there is increase in the interest rate newspaper in newspaper these things have been written you don't want to remember which day what things and all but when you see read this due to the increase in inflation they are increasing their bank rate which means a, a interest rate they are increasing their interest rate which leads to outflow of money from india to us because interest rate there is higher so that i wanted to invest my money in that banks which could fetch me higher rate of interest so there is outflow of money from india to us third statement what it says if the interest rate in us rate in uh, us or european states were to fall it is likely to induce rb to buy the dollars e- if even now if i am not understanding this i will come to second statement if the rupee is rapidly depreciating rb is likely to buy dollars in the market here the depreciation means depreciating what is that depreciation means hmm? whether my money uh, my indian rupee is increasing or decreasing Eighty rupees one dollar ninety rupees is equal to one dollar this is depreciation or appreciation okay so my money value is increasing right indian rupees value is not value is decreasing by indian rupees is de- increasing right so uh, depreciation if there is rupees rapidly depreciating which means increase my indian currency is increasing rb is likely to buy dollars why they have to buy dollars 
why they have to buy dollars demand supply just simply i am applying demand and supply here which is in more in supply whether dollar or indian rupees rupee is more which means dollar is less if i am if i am providing with surplus of us dollar my indian currency rupees will come down from 90 to 80 it will get back down right so simple demand and supply i am equating demand and supply my indian rupee is higher in market i want to, i cannot reduce it rather i can increase the flow of dollars to increase the flow of dollars what should i do i cannot print dollars whereas i can buy dollars so rbi is likely to buy dollars so second statement is right so second is right which means answer has to answer is not c first statement if rbi sells government securities to contain uh, rbi sells government securities to contain inflation to contain inflation they have to sell or buy contain inflation means they have to decrease the money supply if i want to decrease the money supply i have to take the money supply from people which is which is the way selling the do, uh, government securities is the only way so first is right second is also right now i want to think only three three is right or not if the interest rate in where to fall if interest rate is falling is it cheaper i'll be getting the dollars at the cheaper interest rate or at the higher interest rate i am buying i am rbi i am going to buy 1 lakh dollars from central bank of us if the interest rate is lower will i buy now or i will buy when the interest rate is higher lower interest rate la i can i can buy it so that i will be paying lower interest rate if there is high interest rate i cannot buy during that time right so if there is a lesson there is a interest rate is reducing it is easier for me to buy so third statement is also right g20 common framework consider the following statements it is an initiative endorsed by g20 together with the world economic forum okay world economic forum then it is a initiative to support low income countries with unsustainable debt what is answer second state first i have to doubt first or second statement first i'll come to second statement it is an initiative to support low income countries with unsustainable debt g20 is a g20 is an allied group of organization or it is for all the organizations g20 G20, how many organizations, how many countries are there? Hmm? One is UE. UE means it consists of all the European countries, which means it consists of majority of countries. Upon majority of countries means it also includes low income countries. So, second statement appears to be right. So second statement is right as of now. So I'm I'm taking second statement as right. First one, it is G20 plus World Economic Forum or some other thing. Actually, these all the questions are from last year UPSC. I have just tweaked the statements to give you I mean uh, how the exam has to be approached. It is some sample test series, Madhurita, right? How we have to approach this test. G20, this was the question I, when I was attending this type of question, there is only one thing. Uh, this question I didn't attend at the first time. I, when I was going in the second round, I could see that uh, 59 questions were there. 59 questions, I, 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 I'm a complete, after completing things, I know 59 questions, I have answered it. For sure, I know what, I, uh, if I am leaving with six, 59 questions, I will not clear this exam. GS I will not clear. So, I, ha I, I am forced to attend next 85, uh, totally 80 to 85 questions I have attended, 86 questions I remember. This question was second kind of question. I know the second statement, very definite it is. This statement is right. 
first statement uh, this kind of question has to you have to go for take risk you have to take risk no other issue no other way is there because 59 la stop panna mudiyadu we cannot i cannot stop with 59 so i have to take an another step so this is a wrong statement actually there was a gut feeling that this is a wrong statement exactly this is a wrong statement only so answer b only why why this is a wrong statement world economic forum in world economic forum is what kind of institution it's a nature nature of the institution world economic forum's nature is they are a elite group of countries elite group of people and moreover world economic forum is not a place for the countries itself it is a it is a group of organization for business business person who are the, the elite elitist and the top most organizations la irukla they will be the member of this country i mean this organization so it goes against the purpose the purpose is contradictory so i felt it is wrong yes it it was wrong last time it is a paris club g20 with paris club they are doing this then 70 with respect to inflation index to bonds inflation index to bonds are auction, auctioned directly by rp directly by rp somewhat suspicious this word suspicious creates a suspicion take this word and read inflation index to bonds are auctioned by rb sounds good but directly by rb somewhat a statement might have been tweaked so wait second statement inflation index to bond has a potential to reduce the gone uh, domestic savings of country has a potential to reduce domestic savings of the country primary goal of issuing um, inflation index to bond is to preserve the poor and middle class uh, savings against inflation see index to bond something is indexed inflation is indexed to the bond which means my interest rate will vary according to the inflation rate if inflation rate is higher my interest rate will also be higher inflation during inflation who is going to be affected whether borrower or giver that means a lender borrower which in the in bond during in, in this bond kind of issue who is the giver here a common man or a government is giver government is issuing bond who is a giver now who is a buyer now government is issuing bond to public bond moves from here to here money public to which means who is a buyer who is a giver here giver who is a lender who is lending public is lending so in, during inflation time who will be affected lender will be affected public means it includes all poor middle class everyone right lender is an victim of inflation now for that i have a new device i have devised a new bond that is my bond is infla- indexed to inflation which means if in- inflation increases 4 percentage to 6 percentage in next one year my interest rate will not be fixed my interest rate will also vary according to inflation so will this reduce will this reduce the savings or at least make me to remain maintain the saving it may not it need not to increase my savings but it will not definitely cause for in, decrease in the savings right clear is this con- clear or not 100 rupees the bond is 100 rupees right uh, people give 100 rupees to government here after 2 years they say 90 rupees no. take it as 90 rupees but inflation bond bond face value is 100 rupees i am getting the bond for i am giving 90 rupees to government on assurance that after 2 years government will give me 100 rupees back right now inflation is 6 percentage 
after 2 years government has to give me 100 rupees right now inflation percentage is 6 rupees which means 6 plus 6 12 rupees uh, sorry 12 percentage after 2 years inflation will be 12 percentage higher it will be more than 112 right it will not be 112 it will be more than 112 I will be getting at the end of 2 years I will be getting 100 rupees whereas the real value is more than 112 rupees not the exactly 112 more than 112 who is a loss who is a loser loser public is a loser but now I am in uh, adding a inflation index to bond 6 percentage inflation now the interest rate also varies according if the interest rate increases 6 to 8 percentage my interest rate will also vary according to this so at the end of the year I will not get 100 rupees rather I will be getting 115 rupees including interest rate whereas this 112 is due to inflation this 3 rupees is a profit for me this is because of inflation indexed bond right inflation index bond so second statement clearly says that it has a potential to reduce domestic savings no right sorry in the adathla i am i am replacing the word i am replacing the word with reduce increase whether it is right no no inflation ne vachuko Inflation is the condition that is happening. Inflation is happening in the country and I am putting a statement like this. Inflation indexed bond has a potential to increase the domestic savings whether it is right or wrong. Hmm? I don't know. Definitely it cannot be said with certainty. Right? It have the potential to increase or it have the potential to maintain at the same level. So, I cannot say, but definitely I can say what it does not reduce. So, the statement is wrong. So, the statement has to be framed in such a way that the inflation index to bond has a potential to maintain or may increase the domestic savings. That is the right statement. Okay. But definitely reduce. The primary goal of issuing IBS is to preserve the poor and the middle class. Again, savings against inflation yes that was a purpose so answer is yes, three. Okay. with reference to foreign owned e-commerce firms operating in India which of the following statement is right e-commerce companies with foreign investment can operate only under inventory, mo inventory model I am seeing the statement only only operate under inventory model then the degree to which they can own big sellers on their platform is limited second statement is right because there is no uh, focus point i cannot give any importance other they no thing is pricking me that this might be wrong no statement i can find see degree to which they can own the big sellers in their platform is limited no statement appears to be wrong all it is a common plain statement so plain statement is usually right so first i am taking two as the answer so i am striking out this it has to be between any b and c okay first statement i am seeing only it might be wrong or it also can be right seeing only and making it as wrong will go get into a wrong answer right sorry <coughs> commerce with the foreign investment can operate under inventory model yes they has to operate under inventory model only sorry with foreign operate under inventory model or operate under marketplace they sh there is they they are only the marketplace they are only the market seller they are only the it is a platform where the platform can use to, to sell the product or buy the product it can act only as a market it is not an inventory model inventory means hmm? storage yes they cannot buy 
like Amazon, Amazon or Flipkart, anyone, you take anyone this, they are only platform to sell or buy the goods. They cannot sell their own goods. Why? There is no fair play will be there. If suppose Amazon is having its own product and selling to the market, it may reduce the price or it may not show the products which are available in the inventories, in the go-downs, where other products will be affected. Other product or other companies will be affected or I myself, a customer will be deceived, seeing that there is no other product, I have to buy only this product. This product will be owned by Amazon because the platform itself is owned by Amazon. So in such case, what government have done? No, the, all the e-commerce companies has to act as a marketplace. They should not act as an inventory market, inventory place. So first statement is wrong. So answer is D. Then real sector, which of the following activities or real sector in economy? Real sector, uh, I don't know which is real sector, but I can say something is not, something which is not to be a real sector is present here. I have to identify that. See, all are the farming related to primary sector. Then textile mill converting a raw cotton into fabrics. That is also related to primary or secondary. Right? Manufacturing of a steel. That is secondary. But a commercial lending activity to the trading company, which is a financial activity, comes under tertiary tertiary sector. So either it can be a primary or secondary but not tertiary. So eliminating this third statement. So one between one, two, four, four is a secondary, no issues. So I have to include this. So what is a real sector? Real sector means the sector which is not government owned. First one, sector which is not government owned or the sector does not involve in any financial activities. Those are real sectors. No financial activities and it should not be a government owned um, industries or sector. That is a real sector in economy. Okay, then 73 with reference to the expenditure made by the organization of the company, which of the following statement is right. Purchasing new equipment is a capital expenditure. Purchasing a new expenditure is exactly a capital expenditure. Disinvestment is considered to be a debt, non-debt capital receipts, while equity fund is considered to be a revenue expenditure. First statement, right. Second statement, half right. Disinvestment is a non-debt creating capital receipts, whereas equity financing is not a revenue expenditure. Equity financing means giving my share and getting money. For example, Tata Sons. Tata Sons is giving the shares to public to mobilize money. How can this be a revenue expenditure? This is also a non-debt capital receipts. So second statement is wrong. So answer is A. With reference to Indian economy, consider the following statement. FP, FPA are allowed to participate in government security market with the quantitative limits prescribed from time to time. The second statement, dated security, dated security issued or market related rates in auction form a large component of internal debt. Simply, I'm, I'm converting the statement into an easier one. Market securities issued means market securities are long term debt, long term debt, right? Debt can be two types, what? Short term and long term. Dated securities comes under long term category. Okay. Our market related rates in auction form a larger component of internal debt. India is having which debt higher? 
internal or external external or internal internal debt it is 80 around it is 83 percentage 83 percentage is internal debt within the internal debt which component there are two components one short term debt and long term debt which component is higher long term debt is higher dated security is a long term debt okay first statement apo correct long term debt is a larger component of internal debt yes first second statement is right fp is allowed to participate in the market in government security market with the quantitative restrict limits prescribed from time to time yes that is what fp is so first statement is also right answer is c then with reference to indian economy demand pull inflation can be caused or increased by which of the following see the statement it can be caused or it can increase i didn't say only increase whatever alters or whatever modifies the demand demand pull inflation you have to choose it first one demand pull inflation which means you are doing something you are doing some activity that activity is going to cause change in demand side not in the supply side i am doing some activity financial instrument la i am doing something in which it is going to change the demand side i am not talking about supply side sorry i am doing something what i am doing i am expansionary following an expansionary policy which means expansionary policy means decreasing the interest rate or increasing the interest rate hmm increasing the money supply i am talking about interest rate decreasing the interest rate expansionary policy is nothing but decreasing the interest rate or increasing the money supply if i am increasing the money supply what will happen demand will get boost so first statement is right if i follow expansionary policy demand side inflation will happen then second fiscal stimulus fiscal stimulus means giving some subsidies or something from government side they are trying to boost the demand by giving subsidies or free electricity or giving some incentives and the incentives kurta that is fiscal stimulus yes fiscal if i make give any fiscal stimulus that is going to boost the demand side inflation inflation index to wages which means if i index the inflation to the wages what will happen my wage i am a labor my wage is indexed to inflation if in inflation increases my wage also increases will this boost boost demand side or not yes because my i am having a increased money supply right due to the inflation i am not suffering suffering with low money i have higher quantum of money which makes me to buy something which means a demand side there is a inflation demand side there will be boost so third is also right lowering the purchase power if i if my purchasing power is lowered how suddenly my salary gets reduced by 50 percentage my purchasing power will be lower so i cannot buy which means i cannot buy there will be a demand side fall so this will not cause for demand pull inflation okay so fourth is should not be in the answer four should not be in the answer which means d is not in the answer fifth one rising interest rate if i rise the interest rate is it a contractionary money uh, policy or expansionary money policy contraction contraction cannot be a demand side so fifth no so five irko kudade answer is a 1 and 2 but third statement is also right third point is also right since it is not given in the answer i am selecting a and b then money multiplier in economy increases with which of the following money multiplier means if i am having 100 rupees it has to multiply into 200 or 300 that is money multiplier adana money multiplier illa adha da money multiplier okay 
if I have some 100 rupees, it should be in real term it might be 100, but in a nominal version or in a virtual reality, in reality it has to be 300. Every 100 rupees 300 are on that is what money multiplier is. When 100 can become 300? How 100 can become 300? I am not, I am not going to print any new money. I will be having this 100 rupees note, but in reality this 100 rupees has to be a 300. How? Let us see. Let us see. Increase in the reserve, cash reserve ratio. If I increase my cash reserve ratio that is held in the bank, will it increase my money supply or not? No, it is not definitely going to increase my money supply. If money supply is not increased, money multiplier will not be increased. So, first statement wrong, A, D out. Second statement, increase in the statutory, which is similar form of cash reserve ratio. Same effect will be cost. So, 2 is also not in the answer. Now, coming to 3, if the banking habit increased, it is going to definitely increase the money supply. How? If I have 100 rupees, I will be investing it in the bank. Next person, some with this all this something is, uh, bank is taking some money, 20 rupees is taken, 80 rupees will be lent to other person. Whereas my 100 money is also safe, 100 rupees is also safe, whereas 80 rupees is lent to other person which means in reality, it is 180 rupees, right. So, money has been multiplied, that is what money multiplier, increase in the banking supply, sorry, banking habit among the people increases, it is going to cause for money multiplier. So, 76 over 77, with reference to urban cooperative banks in India, consider the following statement, urban cooperative banks are registered and governed by uh, Reserve Bank. Yes, no, yes or no, urban cooperatives, see there are two words, registered, governed, second statement, okay, banking operations are governed by banking regulation act 49. What should I do? Should I take it or not? I am adding another statement, another word to this only. Now we read the statement. Urban cooperative banks are registered and governed by Reserve Bank of India only. This statement is wrong. If I do not have only here, this statement becomes right. Because it has dual control. One is RBI, another is state governments. They are registered under Urban Cooperative Societies Act. Cooperative Societies Act. Each state is having a different different societies act under which they are registered and governed, as well as they are registered and governed by Banking Regulation Act also. So, they are governed and registered under two acts, one is society and another is banking regulation act and also they are governed by registered and governed by both. So, first statement is right, second statement is also right. Then <coughs> components of foreign direct investments, FDA yoda components, equity capital, yes equity capital, then reinvested earnings which means I am earning something by setting up of an in industry, I earned some profit. Out of this profit, I am not giving dividend to my shareholders. There will be shareholders, right? I will not give dividends to that shareholder. Rather, I will be investing my profit as well as dividend in that company. I will be reinvesting my profit. If the reinvested profit is considered as a FDA, yes, recently they have said that. If you have profits and dividends that is reinvested in the same company for development, it will be considered as FDA. So, reinvested earnings, yes, reinvested earnings. Intra company loans, if you have a company and you are getting loan from other company, that will also be considered as FDA. Not just investment, 
if you get loan if you reinvest your profit everything will be considered as fda so all the three statements are right which of the following is likely to be the most inflationary in its effect very easy question which is the most inflationary printing new money yes that's all d <coughs> digi locker is my question okay illa na science and tech avaru panna solliren 99 cantilon effect have you heard about this cantilon effect hmm newspaper la irundhathu cantilon effect nariya idhar mari indha mari if you see something related terminologies take a note of it iniku kuda iniku sunday paper la there there was a effect another coffee brown ring effect irundhada okay cantilon effect means what first i'll explain what this cantilon effect is i'll take roughly 2 minutes okay <coughs> inflation if inflation is happening it will, will it affect evenly every person who are in the society there are many persons from high class i'll take high class people middle class lower class within this middle class there are different group of people higher middle class this is lower middle class high class idhiliyume innum konja difference irukku seri low class low class liyume the people who are below poverty line so these are the different section of people living in the society if inflation is affecting us if suppose 6% inflation is happening in the country who are the people going to first face it eventually everyone are going to face eventually everyone but now what is happening inflation is not happening as as of nature natural inflation is not happening it is an induced inflation whereby government rbi is raising the inflation rate 4% has to be a nor- nominal one but now rbi decides to raise the inflation rate to 6% why just to induce growth just to induce growth they wanted to kick start growth they wanted to raise the inflation rate 6% rate now they are in- raising which means how they are how they can raise the inflation government is planning to provide surplus of money into the economy they are pumping money into economy if their rbi rbi or government central government is going to pump money into economy how how can they pump money into economy they cannot give it to every home households rather they will be doing it a uh, trickle down effect they will be giving money to one person that money will be percolated to the different sections of society for example uh, rbi is uh, let takes central government they are going to increase the money supply by building many bridges they are trying to do this so they are giving contract to one big company that big, big company as such demanded uh, the bridge will be built in 1 lakh crore rupees let's take 1 lakh crore rupees but government is giving 1.5 lakh crore rupees just to induce growth in i mean uh, induce inflation to raise the inflation they are giving 1 lakh rather than giving 1 lakh they are giving 1.5 lakh crore rupees who who is the person who is going to get 1 1.5 lakh crore rupees in this section these people will be accessible first accessibility here when the money reaches here and it will be slowly percolating down how there will be ceos working in the company there will be mds working in the company directors will be working this person will raise for their salary their raise their salary will be raised by minimal somewhat they will be going to raise if he is going to get 25 percentage profit he will be raising 
5 percentage or 10 percentage right then this person will be and also some other impact will be happening down for example manager or clerk who is working in the company will get will not uh, get a rise in salary rather they will be getting an incentive right salary hike but they will be giving an incentive okay if they are getting incentive some labors will be some do, for domestic work some will they will be employing some persons from this section right from this section they will be employing some labors household domestic household labors they will be giving some salary like 5000 rupees if they are giving they will be making it 5200 rupees because they have lot of money at least if they are not giving they will be spending this money like going to cinemas or something so to have this percolation it takes roughly estimated as 11 to 24 months the money from government to reach lower group it takes nearly this transmission takes nearly 11 to 24 months but when the money has entered into the society rb will have inflation index inflation ka government is having rb is having report right in that report what will be reflected inflation rate a money supply has increased which means inflation will also increase even before the money comes in the hands of this kind of people they will be feeling the rise in the price of all the products we would have also felt this our money our money or salary will not have would have not been increased but we will be feeling rise in the price of all the commodities this is this effect <coughs> right understood the concept even before the money reaching the lower hands they will be feeling the inflation rate inflation also should should also take if inflation should also take this time to travel but inflation travels very faster so with this see this question Cantillon effect, uneven distribution of purchasing power among the people or uneven change in the relative prices resulting from change in the money supply. Controlled inflation in the market, it is not controlled inflation, it is uncontrolled thing because I am, I am not focusing on the inflation here, I am rather I am focusing on the money supply. So third one is not the answer. Then increase in the price of goods without increasing the salary of the people increase in the price of goods without increasing the salary of the people d i'll take d then the answer has to be between you might confuse between b and d uneven change in the relative prices from a change in the money supply which is most of tier hmm? why because hmm? yes it is not about salary or price of goods. The effect is not about a salary or rise in salary or money supply. It is because of money supply. Change in money supply, my relative prices, uneven changes there. Because higher section of people have not felt that inflation. Whereas only lower section of people are feeling that inflation rate. Because they have already got the money. Understood. This uneven change in the relative prices resulting from money, money supply. That is the answer. Right? Cantillon effect. That's all.